हेलो टू ऑल वेलकम टू क्रिएटा क्लासेस एंड आल्सो वेलकम टू अवर लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन परम्यूटेशन दिस इज द फोर्थ लेक्चर अंडर द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन परम्यूटेशन एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज द परम्यूटेशन ऑफ नॉन डिस्टिंग ऑब्जेक्ट वी हैव ए कंप्लीट सीरीज ऑन परम्यूटेशन द वेरियस लेक्चर वी हैव कवर्ड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू व्यू द वेरियस लेक्चर जस्ट गो टू अवर लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन अवर यूट्यूब चैनल अदर देन दिस लेक्चर सीरीज वी ऑल्सो हैव ए कंप्लीट कोर्स ऑन परम्यूटेशन कॉम्बिनेशन एंड प्रोबिलिटी that we will discuss at the end of this video if you want to go to the course refer the link given in the description so without taking any further time let's start with the video best of luck in this lecture we will cover the permutation when the objects are not distinct object okay let's see what it means and what actually the fundamental is let's begin this lecture with a small example the example is that we are having a word cool that is c double o l and we have to form the number of four letter words that we can form from this word cool let's approach this question with our standard formula that we have discussed in the previous lectures so here the number of given letters are four that is c o o l that is n is equal to 4 and we are having four vacant places that is r is equal to 4 that is n is equal to 4 and r is equal to 4 let's apply our formula of the permutation that will be equal to n factorial upon n minus r factorial let's put the value we got our answer as 4 factorial that is 24 okay now the question is is the answer 24 is correct or not Let's see what is the point of the concern. Here we are having the word C double O L cool. Here the letter O is repeating two times. Okay. For further understanding the concept, let's give the different color to the word O. That is red and black. Here, if we write the word C O O L, and let's exchange the place of the letter O, it will again be C double O L. That is cool. So we got that if we replace the letter O with O, no new word is formed. The word will remain the same. Okay. Again, if we form the word as O O C L with these four letters, and we again exchange the O with O, we again got O O C L. That is, no new word is formed. Similarly, many cases we can form where by exchanging the letter O, no new words are formed. So our answer as twenty four is not correct. why because if we exchange the letter o with o no new word is forming so half of the words will be cancelled out okay so we will remain with only 12 words are you getting the fundamental why we are doing so because if we replace the letter o with o no new words are forming and our answer is 24 as per the traditional way but half of the letters are repeating so we got our answer as 24 by 2 that is 12 okay got the concept so basically whenever we have to form the different arrangement from the given set of letters and some letters are repeating then we have to divide our answer with the factorial of that number here the letter o is repeating two times so we got our answer as 4 factorial that is a standard answer upon 2 factorial that is 2 so we got our answer as 24 by 2 that is 12 okay we have to divide the addition answer with the factorial of the number that is repeating okay for further clarity let's take a new example now our word is c o o o l here o is repeating three times and we have to form the different five letter words that we can form from this five letters okay so if we apply our traditional way the answer will be five factorial okay but here the letter o is repeating three times that is o o and o so our answer will be 5 factorial upon 3 factorial why we have done so because the letter o is repeating three times so we have divided it by 3 factorial got it o is repeating three times so we have divided it by 3 factorial in the previous case we have divided it by 2 factorial because the letter o is repeating two times we have to divide the traditional answer with the factorial of the number that is how many times the letter is repeating in the first case the letter o is repeating two times in the second case the letter is repeating three times 
got it this is the basic fundamental okay let's take one more example the example is that we are having the word institute that is a nine letter word and we have to form the different nine letter word that we can form from the letters of the word institute okay if you observe this institute is having two i's and three t's now how we will approach this question in the previous case we have seen only the single letter o is repeating three time and in the first example we have seen the single letter o is repeating two times here we are having a different case that is i is repeating two times and t is repeating three times so the fundamental is that here if we apply the traditional way we got the answer as 9 factorial and we have to divide 9 factorial with 2 factorial and 3 factorial 2 factorial why because here the letter i is repeating two times and why 3 factorial because the letter t is repeating three times this is the basic concept we have to divide our traditional answer with the number of the letters which are repeating here i is repeating two times so we got two factorial and t is repeating three times so we have divided it by three factorial okay this is a fundamental based on this let's take some questions for further clarity of the concept okay the question is in how many way can four red three yellow and two green boxes be arranged in a row if the boxes of the same color are indistinguishable okay this is the question the question is very simple just you have to focus on the wording okay take your time pause the video and try to solve this question so let's try to solve this question in this question we are having total nine boxes that is four red boxes three yellow boxes and two green boxes and we have to arrange these boxes in certain orders okay so basically we can say we are having nine boxes and we are having nine vacant places that is n is equal to nine and r is equal to nine here n and r both are equal to each other so if we apply the permutation we got n factorial upon n minus r factorial that is n factorial upon zero factorial that is nine factorial upon zero factorial and we know zero factorial is equal to one okay so we got the number of ways as 9 factorial okay got it here n is equal to r so we can apply the direct formula that is n factorial okay here n is 9 so we got the permutation as 9 factorial further here we are having four red boxes which are same and we are having three yellow boxes which are again same and we are having two green boxes which are again same okay so our answer will be 9 factorial upon 4 factorial into 3 factorial into 2 factorial got it why we have done so because we are having four same red boxes okay and three same yellow boxes and two same green boxes okay so we have divided our traditional answer that is 9 factorial by 4 factorial 3 factorial and 2 factorial got it so on solving we got our answer as 1 2 6 0 so in place of letters we have used the boxes just we have changed the wording of the question the basic fundamental is same so if you know the basic fundamental the wording can be modified in the question and you can easily solve the question if you know the basic fundamentals so let's take one more question the question is find the number of arrangements of the letters of the word afghanistan okay this is the question afghanistan is a country so try to solve this question take your time and pause this video okay so let's try to solve this question very simple question here we are having the word afghanistan which is basically a 11 letter word and we have to find the number of different arrangement that we can form from this word Afghanistan. Basically, what are the number of words that we can form using the letters of this word Afghanistan? Basically, it is a 11 letter word that is n is equal to 11. And the number of vacant place that is r is equal to n. So we can say permutation will be equal to 11 factorial. Okay, 11 p 11 that is n is 11 and r is 11 so our answer will be n factorial that is 11 factorial okay 
here if you observe a the letter a is repeating three times and the letter n is repeating two times so what we have to do we have to divide 11 factorial with 3 factorial because a is repeating three times and we have to divide it with 2 factorial because n is repeating two times okay so by solving we got our answer let's move further and let's take one more question slightly a new variety of the question let's see what is the question how many four digit number can be found by using the digits 1 to 9 if repetition of the digit is not allowed okay pause this video and try to solve this question okay take your own time so let's try to solve this question in this question we have to form a four digit number that is we are having four vacant places that is r is equal to 4 okay and the digits given are 1 to 9 that is we are having total 9 digit that is n is equal to 9 and the condition is given that is the repetition of digits is not allowed it means we cannot repeat the digit so what formula will be applicable the permutation formula will be applicable that will be n factorial upon n minus r factorial simply we know the value of n and r let's put it we got our answer as 3024 so basically we can form 3024 four digit number using the digit 1 to 9 got it let's take one more question slightly a tricky question so you have to pay your full attention okay the question is how many numbers lying between 100 and 1000 can be formed with the digit 0 1 2 3 4 5 if the repetition of the digits is not allowed okay this is a slightly tricky question so pay your full attention and try to solve this question note that we have to find the word between 100 and 1000 in between 100 and 1000 okay so pause this video and try to solve this question so let's solve this question in this question we have to find the number between 100 and 1000 that is number ranging from 101 to 999 basically all these numbers are three digit number okay and the given digits are 0 1 2 3 4 5 basically six digits are given so here we can say n is equal to 6 and the number of vacant place is 3 that is we have to find the three digit number so if we apply our permutation that is npr where n is equal to 6 and r equal to 3 we can find the permutation as 6 factorial upon 6 minus 3 factorial that is 6 factorial upon 3 factorial but this question is having a trick the trick is that we have to form the three digit number now the question is if we put the zero in the first place and other number in the second and the third place will that be a three digit number no it will not be a three digit number so we can say in this calculation there are some numbers which are not three digit number which number which starts with zero okay so basically we have to extract all those numbers which are starting from the zero or we can say we have to subtract all this number from the total calculation that we have done which are starting from zero okay so basically we have to find the two digit number okay if we put the zero in the first place then we will be left with only two vacant places here the zero is not applicable okay why because we have already used the digit zero so basically we are having two vacant places and we are having our digit as one two three four and five so basically five digits are there and two vacant places are there these numbers are starting with the number zero that is these are two digit number so it will be the npr will be applicable so n is 5 and r is 2 so that is 5 factorial upon 5 minus 2 factorial that is 5 factorial upon 3 factorial so we got our answer as 20 that is we got 20 numbers which are starting from number 0 that is we are having 22 digit numbers okay we have already identified these 20 numbers and by the calculation also that is by applying the permutation formula also we got the two digit number as 20 
so our required three digit number will be the total number that is 120 minus the two digit number that is 20 so our answer will be 120 minus 20 that is 100 so we can say we can form 100 three digit number in between 100 and 1000 which are formed using the digit 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 where the repetition of the digits is not allowed got it how we have solved this question no new formula has been introduced just we have used the logic in the question if you are able to find the logic you will be able to solve the question in this question the logic is that the number which are starting from 0 are not three digit number okay very small logic but this logic will make the difference in your answer okay so this is the way we have solved the question now we will see a alternate way also that is how to solve this question with the help of the technique that we have seen in the previous lecture that is the counting method okay let's see how to approach this question so basically we have to form the three digit number that is we are having the three vacant places and the digits that we can use are 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay so let's see what we can use in the first place in this vacant slot we can put the number from 1 to 5 we cannot use the number 0 here why because it will form the two digit number and in the question we have to find the three digit number so in the first slot only the five number will be applicable that is the number from 1 to 5 okay let's see what we can use in the second slot in the second slot we can use all the number except the number that has been consumed by the first slot that is we can use only the five number six numbers are given and one number has already been used in the first slot so we are left with only five number and in the third slot we can use only the four number why because the two numbers has already been consumed by the first and the second slot so we got five numbers in the first slot five numbers in the second slot and four numbers in the third slot so we got our answer as 5 into 5 into 4 that is 100 okay so we have used the permutation technique also and we have used principle of the counting also okay so you should know each and every technique and how to solve the question using the various method so students we have done with this course we have completed the video hope you have liked the video if you have liked the video like our video and also subscribe to our youtube channel okay and about the course that we have discussed in the initial of the video we have a complete course on permutation combination and probability using the animation and the visual tool the link is in the description and we also have a course on trigonometry geometry and other various topics too refer the link in the description for all the courses so students thank you very much for being with Creta classes that's it for this video bye for now